Bo Martinez with the introductions for this, our co-main event of the evening. And now, fine fans, we are set to go with our co-featured bout of the evening. Eight rounds this scheduled for the Junior NABF Super Featherweight Championship. Presented by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions at Showdown Promotions in association with Paco Presents and Don Chargan. The three judges scoring this bout at ringside, Fred Encinas, Steve Sandoval, and Rocky Taylor. When the action begins inside the ring, referee in charge, Tony Zeno. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black with green, he weighed an officially 129 and three quarter pounds. This 20 bout veteran has a record that stands at 14 victories, five defeats, one draw with five wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the challenger from Phoenix, Arizona, El Flaco de Oro, Cesar Valenzuela. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Where's tonight? White, trimmed in black. He weighed in also 129 and three quarter pounds and in 11 professional bouts, holds a perfect record. 11 victories, no defeats, 10 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the undefeated super featherweight from Victorville, California, the reigning junior NABF super featherweight champion, King Roy Garcia! We went over the rules in the dressing room. This is for the junior NABF featherweight title. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, give them hell at the bell. All right, that's Tony Zaino giving the final instructions. And Ryan Garcia told us after the fight, that quick 30-second knockout against Miguel Carrizosa. He was having dinner at the MGM Grand after the fight, and everyone went crazy when they saw his knockout made the Sports Center top 10. He said, I hope that Valenzuela can take a shot so I can break him down and people can see my other skill sets beyond my lightning quick speed and my power punches. Got to watch out what you ask for, right? Exactly. You know, Ryan has a lot of speed. He's very fast. Great amateur fighter, and uh, he brings it up to the ring tonight, you know, showing his skills, his confidence, and his speed. Remember, speed kills. If you don't see it coming, you're going to get hurt. He's got the shorts. It's a raging bull honoring the late Jake LaMotta. So, he said he's a boxing historian. He loves watching fights. His favorite fight to watch, Sugar Ray Leonard against Tommy Hearns. He said that fight had so many ebbs and flows. People bet their houses on the result of that fight. And it was Sugar Ray Leonard who came away with the victory. Nowadays, you don't see a lot of young fighters going back in history and watching some of those great fights. And you know, you know, a young, a young fighter like Ryan goes back and watches Tommy Hearns, Sugar Ray Leonard, and he was talking about it. So it was great. He learns a lot off of that. Honoring a legend, Jake LaMotta, He's a very charismatic kid. I, I asked him, you know, how do you not get overconfident? He said, I know there's a very fine line between being cocky and being confident. He says, but being in the ring, in the gym against fighters like Vasil Lomachenko, like Jorge Linares and holding my own, that's where my confidence comes from, from knowing that I can handle that. But he's young and we'll see how he does when a fighter takes his best shot and he keeps coming at him. And, He's hoping that's Valenzuela who can really bring out the best in him tonight. It's very important for a fighter when they when they train and they get in the ring and spar on the great left hook. When they get in the ring and spar some champions, top class fighters, you know, they know that you know their confidence is high depending on how they're doing it. And that's the case with Ryan Garcia here. He's walking Valenzuela down, just trying to find that opening. got a young fighter who drops people in the gym all the time in Virgil Ortiz and Ryan Garcia has a win over Virgil in the amateurs um, how do you not let a youngster just say man I can do this whenever I want there it is though you can't do it whenever you want if your name is Ryan Garcia Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
You okay? You want to continue? Yes? But. Eight seconds left here in round number one. Garcia already put his power on display. Okay, I was good, Neil. See, he set him up with the jab. You always set him up with that jab. Like, dude, give me some water, give me some water. Give me the other give me the other one. Stop with that jab. Okay, now he's gonna reach again. Okay? Hey, te he said he was tirar el gancho. Dale, agua. He was tirar el gancho. Tápese por arriba. Tú también lo puedes lastimar. Es cuando se tira el volado de derecha. Agárralo. Okay? Now, you could also double jab right knee him. Okay? Because he, he likes to stay on the rope. All right, how do you feel? You're good? Sit up, sit up. No, you're good, you're good. We got time, we got time. That was beautiful, man. All right? Vamos a tragar tierra. Oye, no pasó nada. No pasó nada, hijo. No pasó nada. Oye, no pasó nada, eh. Entra y salga. Entra y salga. Entra y salga. It's the shots you don't see that put you on the canvas, Joel. Exactly. For example, there. See, right hand has fast but feet. He pulls back and catches him on the lunges in, catches him with a great left hook. Right Check on the button. Mm. Doesn't get any better than that. In the corner, they told Cesar Valenzuela, we told you he was going to try to land that left hook. Don't fall for it again. Easier said than done. This kid's speed is unreal. If you want to see some incredible footwork and speed, Look at his Instagram page or his Twitter page. He's got over 160,000 followers on Instagram. This kid does some impressive things on that Cobra bag. But it's the fact that he can translate that into the ring that's even more impressive, Joel. Exactly. There's a left hook. See, that's why against a fighter like Ryan Garcia, you cannot pull back. You cannot make those mistakes that Tanahara was making. Because those are deadly. Those are deadly mistakes against a fighter like Ryan Garcia that catches you at the right time. He has great speed and most important, he has great timing. Said, anytime I step into the ring, I've been able to do whatever I've wanted. Once again, in round number one, he did exactly what he wanted. At some point, that's not going to be the case and we'll have to see what his character is then. But so far, he hasn't needed to appeal to that because he's taking care of business. See, and what he does is demoralizes his fighter, let him out, let walking him, him down. He has great defense as well. When they when they start throwing punches at him, he has a nice tight guard at all times. You know, it's amazing that he's such a young man, but he's very poised and he's also focused on what this career can mean to him. He said, you know, I don't want to be known as that kid who knocked out that guy on ESPN Sports Center top ten. Because I want to go down as a great fighter. I want to win titles in multiple weight classes. He's got a vision for himself, and if he can continue to land that left hook and use his speed, he has the tools to complete that mission. You know, he has, he has great instinct. As you can see, he, he looks like a mature professional fighter with only 10 fights. He, he's walking him down. He throws the feints once in a while, and he's keeping Valenzuela pretty tense every second of the round. And Valenzuela knows that he can get caught at any moment. It's already been proven there in round number one. And there you see Let the defense Let of Break. Ryan Stop. Garcia, Stop. who wants Break, to become guys. a complete fighter. Break. He says, I love Sugar Ray Leonard. I love Sugar Ray Robins Robinson, you know, Oscar. Although at the end of his career, he, he kind of disintegrated, he said. And then Floyd, although, you know, he got boring of late. But at their peak, that's what he's looking at. And, and you can't appeal to anything higher than those names that he mentioned in terms of boxing skill. Exactly. You want to you apply, you need to apply pressure on Ryan Garcia. Because if you give him that this is the thing, he's going to pick you apart. That's what he's doing so far here through two against Valenzuela. That. No Ryan. Okay, listen, Ryan. Continue your jab and feint him. You throw some feints, okay? He's going for it, okay? Okay, he's reaching, so there's opportunities there. But if you work him, you're going to set him up more. You got to work him, though, okay? Because he doesn't know how to fight back. So you got to work him. Okay? 
Just like we did it. Tú tira, 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 It's two completely different stories in the corners from what we've been able to see here at the Casino del Sol. In the corner of Ryan Garcia, boxer calm. His father Henry is telling him, hey, be careful. He's lunging, trying to create opportunities. In the corner of Cesar Valenzuela, Gilberto Becerra is yelling at him, saying, you got to go get him. It's a sense of desperation. How does that Break. affect the fighter? It does because it, it, it gives, it, it's making you think that you're losing the fight. Obviously, he is losing. But you're putting them at risk by telling them, hey, go get him. You have to go get him. Valenzuela, at this point, he needs to apply pressure, but smart pressure. He has to make it a dogfight at some times. But um, Ryan Garcia's father gave him the correct instructions. Feign him, feign him, make him walk back. He don't know how to walk back. When you make, when you catch that, it's, it's a big plus because there's fighters that they can only fight coming forward, but when you apply pressure and they're moving backwards, they don't know how to fight, and that's what his father already caught. And when you look at Ryan Garcia, he's, he told us regarding Cesar Valenzuela, I expected him to be a lot taller, but he's the same size as me. There, it looked like a slip. Oh, and that's exactly knockout. what Tony Zaino says. That wasn't and a we'll knockdown. We'll take a look at it later on. There was an uppercut there, there was a was shot. A knockdown. But we'll Box. Have to look at it to review that one with the replay. And Let uh, him go. Break. Ryan Garcia Stop was holding. mentioning there's a five and a half inch reach advantage for Valenzuela, but you wouldn't think that because of the fact that speed and timing beat length. Yeah, it's just that sometimes a lot of fighters are, they have longer reach and they're taller. They're slower. You know, they're slower with the punches. And, and that's the case with Valenzuela here. Big left hand there from Ryan Garcia. You see Valenzuela's legs wobble a little bit, and he's just reaching so far is Valenzuela. Despite his Free, five and a half back. inch reach advantage, he has to reach because he's afraid of the speed and power of Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia just here, cannot him, afford go. to get too Free, crazy step. and get overconfident here. Oh, Not against hands. a fighter that is in trouble. A fighter that is in trouble throws punches from every angle, and you don't see those punches coming. See, Valenzuela needs to stay low, stay low. But every time he throws his jab, he drops his right hand. Uh, 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 He's going to end up getting caught with a left hook. Not behind if the Ryan, head. If Ryan go. times that jab and watches that right hand go down, he can catch him with a left hook on the way in. That jab that Valenzuela threw, but there was nothing behind it after Garcia decides not to go after it. Oh, and he catches, he catches Ryan, but then he gets caught with the left hand. Beautifully placed. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to continue? Yes? You said Dean formalizing his opponent, and that's exactly what Garcia did there. Valenzuela threw his best punch of the night, and he gets caught, and he's about to get finished here as the bell sounds. And it's a knockout. It's a technical knockout. Tony Zaino has stopped the fight right before the bell that signaled the third round. And Ryan Garcia has improved to 12-0 with 11 knockouts. TKO. Did you like the stoppage? Yes, because it was going to get worse. You know, in the next round, the beginning of the next round, Ryan felt that he had him, so he is going to go for the kill. I mean, Ryan Garcia looked impressive tonight once again, and here he got a chance to show more of his skills. He got a chance to show how he can move defensively, how to counter punch, and that big left hand, that's Ryan's mother, and she is extremely happy and proud of her son. He says, I'm going to finish him anyway. Later on, but I was like, fuck Later on, but it was a good stoppage. Let's take a look at how it ended. This is the knockdown. After Valenzuela lands, a great shot saved him from himself. Yeah, the referee saw that when he went to that corner, he got he got caught with a good right hand, and after that, it was going to get worse for him. So once again, Cesar Valenzuela unable to take Ryan Garcia into deep waters, and King Ryan, he said he wants to be the king of the ring. And that is now eight knockouts in a row for Ryan Garcia.
who has only been four rounds once. This time it's three rounds, and Joe Martinez has the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Two minutes, 59 seconds, round number three. Referee Tony Zeno puts a halt to this contest. Your winner declared by TKO victory. He is still undefeated. Still junior NABF super featherweight champion. The fighting pride of Victorville, California. King Rye Garcia! Ryan Garcia made an impressive statement here on Golden Boy Boxing on...